Hey guys, it's been quite a long time, but here I am again today with a much awaited and promised video. So a week back, I had posted a community post which asked you guys what questions you had related to um, the science stream and PCB. And I did get quite a few questions which gave me an idea about what doubts you had, uh, especially uh, if you're going to choose your stream uh, maybe um, this year or next year or, you know, after two years or whatever. So um, as a student of science stream uh, with my subjects as PCB, physics, chemistry, bio, home science and of course English, um, I'm going to answer all your doubts and share my opinions as well. Okay, so first question and it's something that so many people have asked me, uh, my friends and you know, everyone around me that why didn't I choose math? Now, I was a kid who was um, good at math. Uh, I didn't maybe enjoy math as such maybe because uh, I would get really frustrated if I didn't get the answers. But I scored 99 uh, in my math board exam, which is a pretty good score uh, but considering the fact that I haven't chosen math um, but no I didn't want to choose math because I considered my career choice and my career choice did not require math in it so I didn't want to choose a subject just because I liked it if it wasn't going to serve a purpose um, at first I was very delusional about it I didn't know if I should drop math but my parents did suggest not to take extra load and extra stress and at the end I feel like it helped me out because many of my friends who also don't need math in their um, careers they have chosen math and they feel that a lot of time is being taken by math which could have been put in the subjects they require for college admissions which is physics chemistry and bio so if you're someone who doesn't require math and you know have the choice of not taking math then please do so okay so the second question is uh, does not taking math going to cause trouble to your skills in physics now i don't really know how to answer this question because see my physics isn't very strong if i compare my bio with physics naturally i am a very weak student in physics and unlike some students who maybe put less effort and still are able to score i'm the complete opposite i have to like you know bio i barely take like two days or three days before exam to uh, study and if you consider home science i literally study the day before exam and i'm still able to score uh, the highest in uh, you know uh, one of the highest marks in class but if i consider physics no that's not the case i have to spend weeks and weeks and weeks trying to solve questions and even then i would say my marks in physics isn't what i would expect so um, no physics isn't easy for me but if you ask me if it is math uh, not taking math which caused um, you know any trouble in physics i might say no uh, physics is math of course but uh, it's not just like if you take math it will help you in physics no there are some children who still take math and take physics and are still not able to do their best in physics so i don't really think it depends on taking math or not it depends on how clear you are of your concepts in physics and otherwise you know basic uh, things like differentiation and integration which you learn in math you can easily learn it in maybe a day or two just watch maybe some youtube videos or something like that and um you know just practice and you'll get the hang of it in 11th you do differentiation and integration and by 12th you're you know quite strong with that concept and you won't really need math in that case third point how do i manage time how do i manage self-study or coaching or tuition or whatever and how am i able to have some time for myself now this is a question i'm still trying to figure out myself because it is definitely not easy now there are some days when i think oh my god i should have gone for something much easier there are days when i've just felt like i've broken down and you know uh, i've really doubted all my life choices but of course it's not just you who's going to be struggling through it all your classmates whoever have like chosen pcb or with math along with you they are struggling too you are not the only one and if they can do it then so can you that's something you should remember okay and um, when it comes to time management honestly for me of course uh, i do take extra help i you know whether it's tuition or coaching but 
uh for me personally i enjoy self study more and i can understand through self study so if you have good teachers in school who are able to uh guide you then i would say focus more on self study and the you know extra questions they give you know the uh, past papers that you solve that is quite helpful uh but in case you need extra support that is when you can go to coaching or tuition but um it totally depends the style changes from one person to the other for me i personally enjoy studying myself so that's something i would prefer Okay so answering your next doubt do i have any time for myself to have a social life and of course yes i'm having youtube of course i haven't been very consistent as you can tell but um yes of course you'll have time for yourself honestly you won't have time you'll have to make time it's not just science stream whether you take commerce or arts it depends on how you manage your time um and you know even if you have something to do and if you have like tomorrow or day after which is off then you know just say that okay i can do it tomorrow as well and that's how you make time otherwise you'll just get drawn into that vicious cycle of uh, strength to study and then feeling like you're unproductive feeling that you know uh, you can't do anything you can't take hold of your life and you can't take control of the things around you and that cycle will repeat and repeat so you know make time for yourself just go out you don't have to study 24/7 i don't study 24/7 and remember marks is not everything of course uh it might sound very cringe but um uh, there are some people i've seen who've got amazing marks in school but when it comes to work they weren't very successful in securing a good job so it really comes to how uh, what kind of job you get what kind of lifestyle you lead and it doesn't just depend on marks coming to the next question how do you cover backlogs now if you ask me I genuinely hate the word backlogs. I feel like, you know, it sounds some as something so depressive. Uh let's call it unfinished portions, okay? Now now if you are writing neat or jee, of course you'll have to cover up on your 11th portions which might have been deleted or you haven't done, for example, um while you're completing your 12th so that you'll be able to attend the exam after your board exams or whatever. But um if you are not planning to write any of this competitive exams if there are people who are maybe you know going abroad or you know applying for something that doesn't require a competitive exam then if your backlogs must only be of 12th right so for example if i consider 12 uh, uh backlogs or how i prefer to say unfinished portion uh you will have summer vacations probably i think summer vacations over or any vacation you'll have like holiday for you know like festivities and um you know there are so many occasions in which you get holidays in school all these public holidays try to cover up your portions which you haven't completed during those times and usually what i like to do whenever you get um the uh, portions for your next exam like a unit test or like maybe a half yearly or something you complete the portions for that and then you write the exam right you're not going to not study something and write the exam so uh in that way you are anyways completing your portions so i don't really understand how you are able uh to be getting unfinished portions while you are having to study for your exams coming up as well but in case you have something unfinished try to squeeze in time you know maybe uh, some time in the night when you just have like maybe one hour left before you go to bed in that time just quickly go through one page every day or two pages every day and you'll finish those uncovered portions very soon last but not least is science stream the right stream for you now um i chose science after going through multiple you know um phases of dilemma but there was one thing for sure i knew what i wanted to do and for that i had to take science stream but First of all, if you don't have any plan on what you want to pursue as a career, you're confused between various career options, then I would suggest first narrow that down and then choose your um stream. If you don't want to go that way, some people what they also do is they choose the subjects they like and choose a career based on it. So you could do that as well. But if you have an aim, then go for it. If you want to do maybe CA, go for commerce. If you want to do medicine, if you want to do research, go for science. So that is basically something. But if you want to take science because of peer pressure or because of parental pressure, family pressure, I would suggest not. Um, it's not just science. Any commerce subject as well. If it's making you like, if you're doing something out of pressure. 
don't do it because you might not enjoy it there is very less chances and don't take risks um it is your career it is your future so make a strong decision and be sure of what you want